Hello everyone and welcome back to Satisfactory and we are going to go ahead and knock out a couple milestones so we could start developing some actual factories with foundations and stuff. Right now we just have this making some rods, this making some wire, but let's go ahead and knock out some of these milestones, which I think I already have enough. All right. Milestone reached. Solid biofuel created from any biomass ensures maximum efficiency of biomass burners. To aid in biofuel production, the chainsaw allows for the removal of tougher wood and coral foliage. Additionally, your pocket dimension has been inflated to increase inventory size. Inspirational note. Will you be the fixed employee of the month? You could be if you construct, automate, explore, and exploit by eliminating all obstacles to efficiency. This isn't just fun, it's contractually mandated. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, so now we just built the chainsaw. I forgot I was going to need that building when I deleted it. But now we have the chainsaw. But we have no biomass, so let's make some of that. And we'll turn that into solid biofuel. Wow, that takes a minute to craft, doesn't it? All right, you know what? That's good enough. <laughs> and I just realized we're going to need another storage container if we want to be able to make this properly. So now we can make... No, we can't. Not yet. We need to get the concrete pads or whatever. Go ahead and grab this. I could pump these into storage facilities, but I'm just grabbing them from the miner itself. I figured that'll that'll be fine. Let's just drop off things that we don't need anytime soon. I think we could utilize everything else. Uh, there. To drop that off. Got more of that. Was this copper? Cool. Okay. Yep. It's back. Come back, land. I'm glad I can actually see it, because I know the last update, I could not see over a certain point in the world height. There was a recent quick update for a couple bugs, so hopefully we don't have to run into that too much. Alright, now we get base building. Look at that. Bam. Two milestones. Real quick. Milestone reached. Several new structures are now available for improving factory organization. Foundations provide a building grid, which makes it easier to manage placement of any structure. In the event that you are experiencing amnesia for all events prior to planet fall, be reassured that memories of beloved humans and or animals would have only been distractions from your important mission. <laughs> so... All right, we're going to leave that for a bit, but now we have foundations we can use. So let's put that into the task bar. Why? I don't know why. I need to know how to utilize my task bar better. Oh, cool. We're missing enough product. All right, well, as that fills up, we'll be fine. Um, how much product do we need? We have quite a bit. 
All right, let's find out where we're going to build this little power factory. Because that I have not found out. Just for fun? Oh, yeah. Oh, that one's coming back already. Another blue slug. Alright, so... I am thinking about... I'm not sure. I know I said some things before. But I can't remember... Exactly where. And now that nighttime's coming... Don't we have a light? One of these is a flashlight. There it is. Right. It says it in the bottom right corner. But I just paid attention. Um, I don't want to be too far, but I also want to build... Nice and pretty. I think we could build right here. And make this our hub. Let's clear it out. And we already have a plentiful amount of leaves and stuff now. So let's clear this out. Okay, we've got some more to clear out. And this is going to be where we put our hub. And I'm thinking we can just like build down or something to go to this lower place. <laughs> I knew that was an achievement. It's interesting, I noticed that one of the first achievements I got, which was placing down the portable miner, the achievement is called Rock and Stone, and that is what characters from another game yell. Um, shoot, our power just went down and I just ran up here. And I was like, that's interesting, that's exactly what the other game says, and then I looked it up and yeah, uh, same publishers. All fun. You guys went through that much fuel already? This is why we need to get... Our... Thing done. Oh, that's cool. That's what that does. Two point six six seven per minute. I think we have plenty. That was exactly the amount of wire that we need, but we already had enough. Alright, let's switch this over to iron plates for now. And let's get back up here. Let's actually clear this down here. Now, one of the things I was thinking about, but I feel like that could eventually become a difficulty, is turning each ore into its own little factory area, but I don't think that would work as efficient as I would like it to because of how plates are needed and rods will be needed and it'll have to crisscross and all that kind of crud. All right, let's see if I can remember how to place down foundations. Um, that's what I'm looking for.
think that should be good and And another one. And I'm not sure how much space we actually need. <laughs> but can we? Let's go ahead and... Oh, that looks ugly. Can we add another? That's okay, we'll just put the hub over that point. Just for lack of... We'll do that. Hmm. Could probably utilize this space somehow. Not sure how, but we could. What I was thinking, and I don't know if it's actually a thing yet, or if it could be a mod, or if they could add it at some point. But I thought what would be cool is if you could build a storage facility where everything goes, and then have a terminal that automatically selects the items from the storage. And then via belts and trains and all the other kind of ways, could transport it to your receiving terminal. So if you needed something and you're at the hub, you hit a terminal, get a weight, and wherever it is, it brings it puts it into your receiving storage box or whatever. That makes sense. Let's put this down. We don't have enough plates because we used a bunch. Good thing I turned this on. Let's have just enough. All right. Which one was this for? <laughs> These ones. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to save space and enhance the productivity of your factory. Fixit encourages you to consider investing in verticality when it comes to factory logistics. If you feel stressed by this complexity, imagine yourself on the shore of a vast and calm ocean. Breathe in. Visualize all the people relying on you. The sea is made of billions of faces, each staring at you with hope and tears in their eyes. Breathe out. Feel refreshed and focused on your duties. Okay, so I was reading a little bit. I need to read more about the details of the new update and it being fully released. But I know that there's actually an end game now that you can play and learn about ADA and a lot of things, actually. So it's cool that they added that. I'm, I'm interested to see where that goes. And now we just need a bunch of plates. Which is going to take a while. We have enough to do the RIP. Or we already have enough RIP. We're just going to need rods and plates. And I want to get the logistics mark too because of how these ore nodes are at 120 output. I just feel like that would be helpful. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'll be able to carry all that. What's it going to return to? Nobody knows. You're going to walk up my ramp, bro. Alright, let's put down the hub up here. 
I just realized I turned off all the power. Bro, you're in my way. Get out of my way. I really don't like that I can see that. <laughs> Could I... No, because the building's already there. We'll pretend it's not there. Honestly, I'll probably end up moving this anyways. Did I center it? Didn't even center it anyways. So we could if we want to. Or what we could do is... Oh! <laughs> that was a mistake. Try to, um... Put it slightly higher. Oh, look, it re entered on its own. Is this as far? Whatever. I forget how long I had it. Alright, we want to center this. So center is here. That wasn't good. Not the best, but it will work. Yeah, we can't produce anything, dude. Come on now. Okay, the next thing we gotta do is build our uh, thing. Thing a thing. Alright, let's put in. Why? What's drawing too much power? Max consumption, 35. Max capacity, 40. That was weird. I guess because everything was trying to turn on at the same time. Okay, well, we're going to leave this here. Now we have to figure out where we're going to build this power factory. And we're going to hurt. Should be collecting. Because we're going to need it. I want to build it somewhere where I can access it. But 
but I have to be able to load it. And this is kind of high up. That doesn't look right. You're right. What if we build it... Ooh. I think those have something to do now. Um, what if we build it... There's plenty of space right here, but I want to be able to access it. Of course, I can make a bridge. Not a big deal. I guess we could just build here. Let's just build it here. Clicking every wrong button. Okay. Hmm. How wide do I need this thing to be? Wonder, why isn't I going under there, 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 there? Just, just, it, it's, it's an issue. Okay, don't question. It's, it's just an issue. It has to be filled in. Okay, can we put down any biomass burners? Yes, we can. We can put down one. <laughs> Why is the framing? There's no frame. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can pump into biomass burners now? I didn't know you can automate it now. Oh, that makes it so much easier. Oh, that makes it way more easier. Oh, what? Hold the phone. Okay, we're gonna need more space than this. Wow, okay, so we need to... Okay, yep, let's just get rid of all this. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, let's build it over there. Well, I keep doing that. Oh, that was something I didn't know. That is actually really cool to see. Because now I don't have to manually feed it. And I'll just pick up as I'm running. So much.
Whoa. Oh. That was even worse. Alright, so the objective is just to get the power done. Okay, yeah, this is a lot of space. Because what I can do is I could just... I could drop things off. Okay, you're in my way. Get out of my way. Don't have the smart sorter, but that's not an issue. But we can. Oh, I have ideas where I just need to be further along in the game. But I can, I can build something right here where it just brings it over. I should be able to. Maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. Cool. Alright. Let's clear this out of... Just handpick so we can save some of that. Oh, I wish I had the smart sorter though, because then I could only ha I could I could leave it on one belt, but I'll have to run two belts. But we can update that later. Let's go ahead and put... Can we put that a little lower? Creative juices are flowing. Do I need it? No. But am I going to do it? Yes. I'm out of... <laughs> okay. Let's put down... Okay. Can we put down... burners yet. No, because we need plates and rods, which we need plenty more of. Alright, for the time being, let's just build us not enough anyways. Okay. Hit.
Oh, that got me so excited to see that. That's such a cool feature that they finally added. I saw that coming. Let's just put in another 500. It's going to burn it out, but whatever. Oh no! <laughs> and I'm thinking more right here when we get the ability to put like the staircases, we will. Um. Yeah, let's just go ahead and We're just going to do this so we can put in some solid biofuel. And it'll last. This takes a while though, because it's 10 hits, that's insane. Alright, you know, we're not even going to bother. <laughs> Alright, let's see. How do I want to do this? I need to edit this list. Alright, so that's fine. We will need... Still three storage containers. Just because of overflow. Eight biomass burners, that's fine. And we need... Constructors? We're gonna need... I think four? Because you need, you need the leaves to go into biomass, and then the biomass to go into solid biofuel. Okay. Is it working? No, because it's full. out of space okay um hmm. is that everything yeah pretty much we go. Let's grab some concrete. Okay. 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 I'm trying to think how I want to do this. We could also get the staircases to go up here too. So now we just need iron rods. I need to get the power in place before I can do everything else. So let's switch this to iron rods. And I suppose we could work on some manually right now. Yeah, we could just make some manually. It's probably just as quick. Because I want to get these going where it's automatically filling up some storage, but the issue is still... The 
the utilization of... of power. So we gotta get the power going. We could use the space under here as complete storage. That could be cool. Okay. Let's... We still need more rods. So I guess we'll just make the last 50 that we need by hand. And then we can go build the power. And then hopefully... Can easily make the rest of what we need and knock out this milestone before the end of the episode. I am actually. Oh, I'm getting excited. I'm getting ahead of myself too. That's <laughs> that's the other part. Because like I know I've you know from the very first time. Oh look at that! We got a hundred, a thousand foliage destroyed. Yeah. Alright. So let's put down... We're gonna need to put down some of this stuff first. Because essentially this is... What's going to... Mark everything. I think. I'm not sure how I'm going to run it, though. Not sure. Not sure yet. But anyway. We will put... Constructor down here. No, let's not worry about that. Let's just put the constructors down. Oh, that's kind of close to the wall, isn't it? Oh, but it works. Cool. Not the best, but it works. Probably better if I just six a constructor. Yes, it is. Okay. At least give me a little bit more space. We we got plenty of space up here. We can. Do whatever we need to do. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I don't want the belt to clip because it just looks weird, in my opinion.
Perfect. So now we put down second constructor. The little highlight things too. Real nice. And then we can put down... We need to put down storage on here. Okay, fine. Storage. I want to see if I could... Not without clipping. Could I... 120 in per minute? I might be able to now. No, no, no. 300 per minute. So it's going to move 60 per minute and 300 out per minute. But this will accept 120 per minute. It's not utilizing it properly, but that's not I don't I don't need it to. I never had an issue with how much it it did. Right? I never had an issue with what it did. But the 60 per minute will definitely slow it down. I wonder if... I wonder... And that was eventually expected. Damn. Oh my. Come. <laughs> um. There. Right? Now you're not going to be covering anything, right? Clipping, right? Seriously clipping it like that? Surely I'm not clipping it now, right? There we go. Oh, 
Okay, I need a way up there still. <laughs> I could utilize. I could definitely utilize a. And oh, what is it called? A mobile mouse. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. That's what I was pushing on. Then we put it this way. Except I don't know. Looks like it's lined up exactly. So we can probably try to. Can't slide up. <laughs> Could you be any more annoying? right here. So we essentially put this right on the damn edge. But we're going to need space in this. There. And here. Not right. There. Mm, I don't even know if I like it. I don't. Not at all. <laughs> Such a waste of time. I don't like it. I do something like this. Well, let's put down the let's put down I can't think. Let's put down our biomass burners. So we need
Oh, it's not online, is it? We don't have enough space. Not that way. However... Let me see. Because we can now turn these this way. And just have a single... We just need to put down some more. Let's put down... <laughs> okay, let's put this down. Let me think about this. Okay. Let's figure out how we want to put these down. Which, I mean, we're only putting down eight. Put it down. Four. Are you inside or outside? Inside, okay. Interesting. It has to be, huh? For it to line up. Yep. Quite interesting. Quite interesting. What if we just do it like this? Five. Oh no, no, no. This. Oh, 
What happened? I don't think I put that one down centered. Alright, cool. And now what we need... Okay, I don't... I don't... I can't remember. I'm gonna have to look it up. Um, logistics... Splitters. I can't see for crap. Why are you not lined up? Okay, that's easy fix. Put you over here. I might be thinking into this too much, but it's okay, because I like perfection. so quickly and I don't have power going to anything right now there now we have all the space to utilize it. But we need to get more power going. Lovely. Why did I go this way? I don't know. need to find a way to get up into here a lot easier. <laughs> Easy. Put a ramp. Let's go ahead and put that there and put that in there. That'll last a little bit longer. plates. A lot of plates. Okay. Uh, run all the way back around again.
Ow. And we'll fill that in later. And we need a ramp here too. Okay, cool. Structures down. Let's put our first constructor here. Second one right next to it. Telling me I used all my iron plates for that already. <laughs> wow. Okay. And then this can merge into a chest. <sighs> okay. Oh, you know what? While we're here, while we're here, can we at least wire this up? So your power is going to be lined up right there. And here. And here. Right. To that pole. to here. To here. To here. Just gonna connect to there. all wired. You guys are going to need a pull. Let's see.
There, everything's wired up now. So this would be left input, so leaves on the left. Wood on the right. Alright, let's go ahead and fall down, I guess. Okay, this is running a lot longer than I thought it would. Okay, we need three storage containers and a lot more plates, please, a lot more plates. So let's manually make some plates, otherwise we're gonna be... What are you doing? Because we need to connect everything. Yeah, we're going to need a bit. We're going to need a bit. The running around to get to that side is the, <laughs> the time that's eating up so much time. Once it's going, we shouldn't need to come over here. In fact, I should... I can actually do it that way, too. Is if I run a wire... Whoa, I'm getting graphical glitches. That's interesting. If I run a wire from here to mine... If it ever resets, I could reset, but I shouldn't push the power that far anyways. Okay. Um, storage, 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 storage. So. I want my storage to come out like here. And then we need a merger. Probably don't have enough for all of this, but I suppose we'll see what happens. Do I have enough? Do I have enough? Do I have enough? Okay, drop leaves. Just in case, let's... Uh, let's drop some wood. So now, the idea is it for it to back up. That's the idea. It's designed to have this as a buffer. Which I guess the only thing is I'm not going to have a way to get 
any of this. <laughs> Unless I pipe some back to me. Which I could, because I can run it straight out of here. And now... Take this wire. And we'll just plug it into there for now. And now we have a capacity of 250, so... We take the other 180. And if we need to, we could add into it on this side and build out. Because I believe. Yep. So we could just go back this way and start pumping into it. But the concept is that this is just going to fill all the way up. Hopefully. That's the concept anyways. This wood. Over here, it'll take a lot longer to fill up, but it will. So cool. So now all we gotta do is run the rest of this, which can. I'm not sure how I want to do this. So that's going to take some thought. So we'll still have to run over here for a little bit, I think. But... Looks like it's making a lot, though. Just suppose if I wanted to help that I could split it there might be a smarter thing to do. But we'll leave it as it is for now. I think this will work for now. It's not supposed to be a permanent solution because we have to feed it. We want it to be automatically fed, which is a coal. But we have some power going, which is nice and beautiful. Okay, that's going to wrap it up. I know we don't have it completely finished, but we're already pushing over an hour. So I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below what you think of this location for the freaking uh, biomass factory. And let me know what you think about the biomass burners being able to be automatically fed. I think that's so freaking awesome. Game's looking great, by the way. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you guys next time when we do some more milestones and start actually making things efficient and storing.